I'm gonna be at 120 shutter speed double. So this will let me do that. So I'm gonna pop it on right now. Well, welcome back to Life Journey Production Studios. My name is Keith, and this is gonna be a short video on the new Light Chaser Pro kit for my iPhone 13 Pro. It's not a Max, but it's a great kit. So if you're wanting to shoot with like apps like Filmic Pro or the native app in your iPhone or even other phones for that matter, if you have an Android phone, one of the things you might consider is adding filters for shooting during the day. Obviously, if you want that beautiful film look, then you need to be able to do something with that light that's out in the middle of the day. And you can do that with ND filters. You can also take some of the glare away with a circular polarizing filter. And that's why I have added the Light Chaser Pro kit Bipolar Pro to my bag of tricks when I'm out doing mobile shooting because the iPhone is a excellent tool for doing B-roll. And I even do some live videos for clients with my iPhone. So let's go to the super source and take a look. So here you have the Light Chaser Pro Kit. And I'll just hold this up. Here it is right here. And you can see that a little bit better right there on camera. And um, so that's a Light Chaser Pro um, cover that goes on my iPhone. And here is my iPhone 13. You can see it has the three cameras, three slots. And so this is added to the phone so that I can use this kit. Um, it comes with it. And there's lots of different filters that you can use. I have three of them here on my desk and I actually have this handle tool. And the way the handle tool simply works is that you add it to your phone. So there's slots right along here. You can see those on the video there. And then you light it up with this, this notch here and notch here with these notches on the Light Chaser Pro um, phone um, cover. And then you can push this button and it's spring loaded. And um, that helps you get it on. And you pop it on like that, line it up with one of the holes. And then there's actually an attachment I have right here. So a little rubber piece comes out and you add this in, turn it on. Now this becomes a Bluetooth shutter. So if I go in here now and open the native app for my phone, now I can aim this at me or I can aim it at my desk here and it snaps a photograph and there's a photograph. Or if I go into video mode, you can watch it right here. I'm gonna hit the button right here. And now it is recording. You can see the timer going. And now I hit it again and the timer is out. So not only do I have the handle and the extra grip to hold my phone so that I don't drop it, now I have the ability to take either the circular or polarizing filter, the three to five variable ND filter, or the variable ND six to seven, and I purchase all three of these. And you can see that inside these is the filter and you can take the filter out it slides right in here on the phone. There's little notches right here. You slide those on and you can see the little notches right here. Slide this on, pop it down and this protects it. And then you take the cap off and now you have a variable six to seven ND filter and now you can stop down the light during the day. You can see it's very dark right now because I don't need this filter on. But if I was to shoot this right at my light and right above me and hit record, I can also push the button and hit record. And now I can play that video back here on camera and you can see the ND filter lets me shoot right at that light without overexposure. Now, if I pulled this off and did the same video without adjusting the exposure, I would be quite overexposed, but obviously the iPhone's also going to adjust for that light. So that's the video. So why have these filters if your iPhone is automatically gonna adjust? Well, that's so you can open up an app like this. So let's go over here to Filmic Pro. And in Filmic Pro, as it comes up, I can actually, and I have the ability to set my shutter speed. And so right now I'm shooting at 30 frames per second. 
So I want my shutter speed to be double that. That's 1 60th. So I can lock that by hitting the little red button. And now with the variable ND filter, if I was outside, so we'll pop this back on here. The case is off now, so be careful you don't get fingerprints on it. So I have that set to six. And now with that shutter speed set, I'll shoot that same light. And now I have fixed my shutter speed. So it's at the right shutter speed for when you'd like to shoot film and get that look that you need to have by doing double the frame rate is your shutter speed. So I have it frozen at 1 60th of a second. So now I'll play that video back. We'll get out of Filmic Pro, go back to my native app, which is where I'm saving my Filmic Pro videos. And there you go, that video is playing. And you can see that I have a good exposure. So not only do I have this variable ND, um, the uh, six to seven, I also have a circular polarizing filter. So we'll put this one back in the case, snap the cover on, put this back in that case. And then now I will pull the circular polarizing filter. And if you don't know what a circular polarizer filter, it is designed to take away the glare. Okay, so that's on, we'll pull the cover off. And now I have a circular polarizing filter, which is designed to take out the glare. And that gives you that great, beautiful water shot. So if you're shooting water or if you're shooting something reflective, you wanna shoot through a window of a car and get better exposure on the talent inside the car. Or if you have windows in a showroom somewhere and you wanna be able to take some of that glare out, then you can use the circular polarizing filter. Now, one downside is you can't screw filters together. So keep that in mind. I can't put the circular polarizing filter on top of an ND filter. It just doesn't work that way. But I absolutely love the Light Chaser um, Pro kit. I love the fact that I have these different ND filters that I can put on, plus the circular polarizing filter. And I have the Bluetooth shutter button so I can stop and start video. And these cases are designed to protect the filter so that you can pull it out, not get any fingerprints on it and actually put it on the camera and then pull the cover off once you get it on the camera so that you keep from getting your fingerprints all over the lens. That's another feature I like. So there's the case. There's the look at it. Everything put together and um, on my iPhone, Filmic Pro opened and it's just a great tool. And if I wanna get this off, I can pull it off by pushing the button or if I push the button, I can slide it to another setting. If I want a different type grip, I can do that. Let it lock into place. Now it's locked in. Now it's locked into place. And now I can adjust it. So it'll adjust up these slots just by pushing the button. I can get it snapped in to another spot. I can pull it, push up and pull it back. And I can put it in any one of these notches, which is another thing I really like. Now, why would I want to have it in the center notch? Well, I can hook it up right here to a tripod, and now I can use this to hold it on a tripod or put it on a light stand. And so that's another great feature to this. And that's what you do if you just wanted to shoot. And because the cameras are over here, you can still get the filters on this and have it in the center part. And you also have a uh, thread on the top so you could add a uh, light on the top. So lots of things that you can do with this beautiful little set. Okay, I'm outside, there's a slight breeze. I'm testing the ND filters for the Light Chaser kit. It's the Polar Pro kit. Um, this one right here is the ND filter three to five. So I also have a circular polarizer filter. We'll show you what that looks like. That's just gonna cut out some of the glare. And then I also have a ND six to seven, and they all snap right on the front of, or the back of my iPhone 13 Pro, but we're gonna Pop this on now, I am shooting at 60 frames per second. And at 60 frames per second, I wanna be at 120 shutter speed double. So this will let me do that. So I'm gonna pop it on right now. So now my exposure is at 35 and I'm shooting exactly at 120 shutter speed at 60 frames per second, 1080p. So you can see this beautiful vineyard behind me and you can also hear 
um, the windscreen on the DJI mic kit, and I have a video here on my channel for that, so check that out. So the Light Chaser um, kit on my iPhone 13 Pro, again with the ND filter, three to five stop, um, and it's very bright today, but that's uh, enough of an ND right now facing this direction. I have the sun above me. Um, if I was shooting more in direct sunlight, I would be needing to use my, um, my deeper stop ND filter. So we're gonna pop this off now. We'll pop the other ND filter on. And that's at the ND filter set at six. We're gonna turn it up to seven. And that's with the ND filter set at seven. So that's what things look like when you have that, mi that many stops of light and um, you're shooting at 60 frames per second out here in the broad daylight with the sun literally right above my face. You can see my face lit up when I look up, but I really can't get perfect lighting right now because the sun's above me. So the Light Chaser Pro kit by Polar Pro really is a nice little set for you and your studio. And you can adjust again this handle, whichever slot you like. I like it in the last slot. I like to use my camera um, more like a, on my phone, more like a camera and have this grip. You can see that there's plenty of places in this grip to get your hand. And then I, again, you can add the shutter, Bluetooth shutter buttons if you want. So this is a accessory. The handle is an accessory. Then you get the Light Chaser Pro case for your phone and then you can buy these different filters and there's more filters available at polar pro so check out the link in the description below and this is not a sponsored video but we want to say thank you to um, those people out there designing gear like this like polar pro because we really appreciate having these tools to be able to get the most out of our smartphone smart device and use it as a video production tool or for photography whatever is uh, whatever your passion is. So I'm Keith, this is Life Journey Production Studios, and we hope to see you in the next video.